Hello, Simon here, and this is Red Alert, the prequel to Command & Conqueror, which came out in uh, 1996, I think in November, uh, after the original game, which is only about a year. Um, the game is maybe more iterative than uh, a complete change, but it, it just fixes a lot of the things that were wrong with the original game and adds a lot more units, adds more construction options. Has a brand new soundtrack. Again, really, really nice industrial music by Frank Pepecki again. I'm playing a skirmish game, just so I can show you something a bit more exciting than a early, early campaign mission. But as such, I can't talk so much because I, I really need to think to play <laughs> as I'm playing against a, a medium difficulty enemy. So my strategy here is to get an ore refinery, then a weapons factory, and then pump out a whole bunch of harvesters. The allies have pretty weak units, but they have a navy, which the Soviets basically don't have. Uh, so my goal is to get to this point where I can start pumping out naval units, and then I can go attack their base with my navy. I'm playing at a slightly faster game speed as well. Mostly because these videos are really huge on my hard disk and... <laughs> if, 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 if I play at the faster speed then this video will be over soon. So I have some units that you recognize like the artillery unit and the medium tanks and things. But the uh, Soviets have a lot more interesting things like uh, Tesla coil defenses and flame turrets and things. And as such, the game's a lot more asymmetrical. Construction complete. Uh, so I want to start pumping out a couple of ore trucks or harvesters. And a naval yard. Tanks are really, really good at driving over soldiers in this game. The AI's been tweaked to do it more, I think. Oh no. Ah, oh, phew. Okay, so we want an advanced power plant, another ore truck, and again, we can't queue things up. Complete. I used to spend so much time uh, just doing little skirmishes like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They can be quite challenging, especially against several com uh, opponents. So I'm not actually going to build any boats yet. Construction complete. Building. I'm waiting to get a, uh, a cruiser, which has long-range guns which I can use on my enemy base. Construction complete. Unit ready. Vehicle reporting affirmative. Right, I now want a radar dome. And I want to start pumping out Holding. medium tanks. Because I'm not sure if I'm fighting a Soviet yet, but if I am, uh, the Soviet will just utterly crush me. Yes, sir. You want to place a, uh, a few rocket soldiers around your base, except the enemy has air units, they're a good anti-air defense. So we get the tech center which gives us things like the, uh, the missiles, a uh, nuclear missile, and other things. I do have a problem here where my harvesters are very undefended and they could potentially rush me from that side. Once I've got my tech center I might build another uh, weapons factory 
so I can start um, building tanks faster. If you have more of these buildings, you can build things quicker. So I want to put this way up here, or it's not going to get hit. Oh, not to my power out. Which is never good. Ready. Building. I'm playing as England, which I can't remember what, if that actually means anything. I think some different uh, nationalities get slightly different loadouts. So I have a cruiser being built now, and I can build a Tanya, um, which is like a commander type unit, which can go just destroy your buildings really easily and can gun down things. I think I should keep pumping out more tanks though. So another war factory. And more tanks. Not being able to queue things up is kind of interesting because it does lead you to uh, always think about what you're building. So, you know, if you can't queue up 10 tanks, you might not build 10 tanks um, in one go. You might choose different things, which is kind of something to said, like to be said for like doing that, but. Okay, so we've got my cruiser. I'm going to send it down the bottom. I'm going to build a second one. Two or three cruisers will just utterly obliterate an enemy base. So I want to do that quickly. Get more ore trucks. So the worry here is an enemy that would come from this direction. Hopefully they won't. We'll have the GPS satellite from the thing quite soon. Unit ready. Construction complete. Building. So helipads allow us to build attack helicopters, however, they're quite ineffective. Mostly because uh, Soviets have will, will have built a lot of rocket soldiers. And the Soviet helicopters can actually shoot down our helicopters and ours can't attack them in the air. So we need a destroyer to protect our ships from helicopters, um, and I might build some light tanks. Just to mix in with my heavy tanks. The service depot allows us to fix damaged tanks, which is useful if we get a, a very heavy attack on us. We'll be able to rebuild our defenses quicker. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. Reporting. Affirmative. So here's the GPS. So, there isn't a massive attack force coming for us, but we're fighting Soviets and they have a lot of missiles. So I'm going to build... Uh, I think Training. rocket soldiers can shoot down those missiles. We're going to need a fast attack force, so maybe some more light tanks would be a good idea, because the light tanks can close in quick and destroy those missile launchers. Also, the problem with V2s is it puts our ships at risk. Unit ready. Acknowledge. 
I wonder if we can already engage them. So, the game likes to tell you to build silos, but frankly, if, if you need to build silos, you should be building things. Okay, we've uh, awakened the uh, <laughs> nightmare. Unit ready. Construction complete. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. I will probably need more power. Ready. This is encouraging. This He's got a quite yes, early sir, base. I think I could probably go in here and take out his tank factory, which would be a good, acknowledged. Affirmative. good start. Reporting. Construction complete. Acknowledged. And we can build a uh, mobile construction vehicle, which may be useful if our base is if get if it gets heavily attacked. Waiting orders, acknowledged. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. So, we now need to, I think, just start building up for an attack. They interestingly haven't started, I don't know if I've managed to bug the game. Or if they'll just slowly bleed off forces towards me before attacking. After my harvesters. Affirmative. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. So I think what we might do is put a construction yard here and just carefully block off that part of the map. you got mammoth tanks already. Oh no! <laughs> this is what I was worried about. Right. Uh, we're gonna need those harvesters to drop that money. That ore off now. Whether or not we'll survive this is questionable. However, now he has cleared his base, I think it's definitely worth attacking his construction yard. <laughs> yes, sir. Very well. The question is, where is he going to attack? Yes, sir. And should I send out my tanks yes, 
preemptively. Yes, sir. Awaiting order. What is he doing? Waiting orders. Yes, sir. Ready and firm. Reporting. Our base is no. under attack. Oh, okay, we're getting V2 missiles. Insufficient funds. Awaiting orders. Acknowledged. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Construction complete. Warning. Permanent. Yes, sir. And then use the ult key, which will allow the tanks to just drive. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. We don't really have anything that can really even dent the armor of a mammoth tank, which is a bit of a worry. At this point, it's a case of carefully taking out his base before he rushes me with these uh, heavy tanks. He has a few troops coming up this way, but I think we'll just... Finally got a someone run over. I think the uh, cruisers. They're actually more accurate at distance and at short range they have poorer accuracy. So again, I want maybe five more factories, I think, to get the uh, maximum speed where you can build tanks up. Yeah, not using right click still feels weird. So we have a huge mass of people coming over here. There are crates on the map that you can uh, pick up and they give you small bonuses. Come on. The AI is still not perfect, but the pathfinding is, seems to be much better than the uh, original Command and Conquer. So I think now I can probably just take out his base. Building. 
building. Unit ready. Building. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Oops. Unit Acknowledge. Ready. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Unit Acknowledge. Lost. Acknowledge. Unit uh, lost. Reporting. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Reporting. Acknowledge. 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 Affirmative. Oh, oh come on. Finally. That guy's got quite a throw that he's attacking a large battleship with grenades. Really need to take out this, uh... Okay, now this is a good speed to be popping out tanks. As soon as we destroy his main buildings, he may sell up everything and we may have to quickly rush to stop all his guys from flooding our base. Like he is there. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna yes, withdraw my harvesters. Yes, sir. Unit lost. Unit ready. Building. Building. Unit ready. Building. Yes, sir. Knowledge. Knowledge. Waiting or knowledge. Yes, sir. Unit Reporting. lost. Yes, sir. <laughs> satisfying noise. While this game lacks the uh, kind of modern day, present day uh, theme, the theme is actually still quite fun and quite interesting. The uh, Soviet campaign starts with uh, Stalin himself ordering a nerve gas attack on a uh, Soviet village to test his new weapon. Okay, we should be able to win this in a few minutes. Send in the tanks. Yes, sir. 
Well, we don't really need to attack the harvesters. Uh, if we don't, they can just go to random places in the map and hide, which can be a bit annoying when you've finished the game, but it won't end because you've got a harvester that's miles away and you need to go hunt it down. This uh, also, I think, has some of the units from the expansion aftermath, because I don't think the chrono tank was a thing. The mechanic also wasn't. Building. I'm not sure the uh, fake units were in as well. Actually, I think they may have been the fake buildings. Unit ready. Construction complete. Yes, sir. No. Reporting. And we have a victory. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Now just hunt down the remaining guys left on the right. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. No. Mission. Hey, so yeah, this was Red Alert. Um, oh, it's just crashed. <laughs> oh no, it's uh, back. And I have killed 217 of his guys in this battle. Um, Red Alert, again, you can uh, get quite easily. Uh, there's cnc.net or something now, um, which you can get a uh, playable build of. Again, there's OpenRA as well, but that's kind of different as it's kind of just reusing uh, the game's units and it looks like the original game but lots of different things have changed in it which I'm not a big fan of. I mean it's good for online play and it's a game in itself but it's not the original Red Alert. Um, yeah I really recommend playing through Red Alert as there's lots of really like interesting things, it's got a really stronger narrative, they hired much better actors, um, there's lots of laughs to be had from Stalin and the uh, Allied campaign is really interesting as well. Um, involving the invasion of Greece by the Soviets and the eventual revenge for that. Um, but yeah, uh, Red Alert's a really good game and it shows that you can just take a game that's already really good, make a small iteration on it and put that out with some kind of new tweaks and changes and that can be a game in itself. And I think a lot of indie devs need to consider that once they've released a really good game that maybe they could just do a a less ambitious sequel, uh, kind of improving on their vision for the original game. Anyway, I'll be back soon with another video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.